There was no email, no internet. You had to actually pick up a phone and call someone to communicate. So it is so fitting that a group of community activists chose the shiny new emergency services complex as a site to house a time capsule that was filled with who knows what because most of those folks aren't here with us any longer. But some of them are here tonight. And those early pioneers have moved on, but some of them are brief with us tonight. For 25 years, that capsule has been quiet in its contents and, uh, uh, who wrote this? For 25 years, the capsule has quietly <laughs> held its contents and it was no easy task to find it. We are grateful to Pat Muhlenberg and Chief Peterson for remembering where it was and helping the, where it might be hidden inside of that emergency complex. It was no easy task for today's fire officials to hunt it down as the complex has undergone numerous changes over the 25 years that it's been there, and they actually had to bust through some drywall and a false ceiling to locate it. The next challenge was it was a little safe, a little locked safe, and no one knew where the key was. <laughs> All efforts to find it failed, and uh, luckily an unofficial locksmith put his skills to work, and the lock was picked. Uh -oh. yep. And no, but of course they didn't peek inside, of course not. Because tonight we will open the time capsule and I would like to invite anybody who was here and active in the community in 1990 to please come forward and we're going to open the time capsule. Come forward. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's actually heavy. I'm Debbie Johnson. I'd just like to say a few words. We started the Golden Gate Business Association in 1984. And Sue Lee was part of that. Jim Coletta. Um, Atus joined in. We had Bob Mast. I'm not sure if he, he was here tonight. He was supposed to be. Um, we had, we, there was originally 12 people that started the business association, which evolved into the Golden Gate Chamber of Commerce and then merged with the Naples Chamber of Commerce. But we were a community organization supporting the businesses in Golden Gate. And I'm very proud to be part of this group of leaders. Thank you. Ah! Let's see what this is. Go home, Yankee. <laughs> 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 what is it? <laughs> This is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> to who it may concern. No, it doesn't say that at all. <laughs> well, let's see. The, to the future residents of Golden Gate, you have settled in a working community and have struggled for survival and independence in a, in a county dominated by special interests and big dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write this, believe me. <laughs> the kind, the, uh, Gary and this, this package, uh, which, which we have chosen to uh, honor many of those who tried to make the best of a situation we have passed on to you. <laughs> Although a small community now, we are growing in both population and respect when our citizens realize that their numbers could make a difference at the polls. Uh, that is when we will move more swiftly ahead. I hope you have come to this realization by the time that this is read. Attached for future history are a current membership list, our original charter, and a banner made by a local artist. However, Howard passed on in May, the artist that did this particular item, in May of 1990, but he left us various artistic remembrances about the early Golden Gate days. One of his most common community designs is the Frontier, Frontier Day Festival insignia. We hope that you find these moments, mementos, both interesting and possibly inspiring. Good luck with Golden Gate's future. 
What's that signature? Jim Coletta. No! <laughs> <laughs> Golden Gate Civic Association. No, Golden Gate Estates Area Civic Association. Who is it? Who is it? Who was 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 it? Here's the Golden Gate Cookbook. <laughs> Women's Club. Ah, Women's Golden Club. Gate Women's Club goodies. How to cook possum 20 different ways. <laughs> <laughs> RP uh, chapter and American Association of Retired Persons, Golden Gate Area, chapter number 3753. What they wrote? And this is Pat, the coat, that she was the one in the fire department that found us. She actually remembered where the time capsule was. Oh. I don't think there's anything in there, is there? Maybe the keys are in there. The keys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in it. What is that? Keep going. Sure. <clears throat> Senior Citizen Club, History of Golden Gate Senior Citizens. I don't know if you want oh me to goodness, read all of this or not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably be here for a while. I have something. The club was located on, on Santa Barbara, and for those of you that remember, I think it's yeah. now a church. It had a second floor yeah. and an elevator. Should keep going. <laughs> Mr. Arthur was here then too, 1965. I've already been here since 69. We have a couple here too. What do we got? Golden Gate Community Center Open House. Just a program for the open house. I don't see the date. Here's something. Else. October 8, 1977, 1 p.m., open house at the community center. <laughs> it's appropriate because Bill serves on the community center advisory board. Yeah. Cool, eh? <laughs> oh, when did you get here? Uh, Golden Gate, 83. Let's see what a couple here. How about this award thing down here? Fraternal Order of Eagles. If, uh, A E R I E, Erie? Erie. Mm -hmm. 4028 is at the uh, branch, possibly. In Gold Cage. July of 1990. So, I reckon that's still around, too. Mm -hmm. Paula, did you come down with Ed, or did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and take one of you, or a couple of them in the notes of that. Oh, we have pictures. Pictures. This one of Tim Cast Castatino, is that what it is? Yeah, Constantine, Dave Ritchie. And Dave Ritchie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it's the Civic Association. And this one's the same one, too. I guess it must be the same one. It was during the parade. Yeah. Frontier Days parade. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Go ahead, grab a couple of them, read them off. Okay. This is a Founders Day banquet. At the Quality Inn, May 25th, 1990. Presented by the President's Council of Golden Gate. And this one says, To the future residents of Golden Gate, during this Golden Gate's 25th year as a community, the Naples Daily News took an informal poll of residents' attitudes about the area. Almost 100% of those polled liked the Golden Gate area because of the people. The middle class families are easygoing and friendly and yet hardworking. I hope that you read this in the year 2015. Golden Gate residents still feel a great pride not only in the community itself, but in the people. 
In 1990, the community may be the finest place in the United States to call home. I trust that in 2015, it has only gotten better. Given the grace of God, I'm sure it has. Tim Constantine, President. Golden Gate Civic Association. Yeah. There's not that much left. Do you want to rattle them through fast? Um, By the way, this makes it 50 years that we're celebrating with Golden Gate. Jim, did you want to, Jim, what, Jim actually talked to Tim Constantine or emailed? No, I, I was curious to what happened to Tim. He, 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 uh, he did many positive things for our community. Uh, he did have a rough time there for a while, but he's in Washington, D.C. now. He's a, uh, uh, he has a ra his own radio show. He's one of the most popular uh, radio personalities in Washington, D.C., very successful. I sent him an email when I found him, and, and he responded back. And he told me to give you his best wishes and to tell you that he thinks very fondly of Golden Gate and the day is his birthday. Oh, oh, wow. He's 35. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. We have a membership of the Golden Gate Civic Association from 1990. Lots of photos, pictures of people sitting here. Sue Lee. What are you doing? This is Kiwanis at the Tom Unsworth. I'm not there. Oh, there I am. The Kiwanis. We expected to, uh, uh, there were a number of uh, hats being sold at that time. And the joke at the Kiwanis Club at that time was that we should put a hat in the, in the time capsule and anyone who wanted the one should contact the same lady that was selling them 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> they may be finished by now. Oh, there's the list. One of the few that's still alive. <laughs> John, you didn't get to open any room. I don't remember her. Joan Jenks, a nice story about she's on the side of an airplane, and she was you know, the founder of the, the name of the community center after her. And more civic association presidents, pictures, and that is all. So now, if uh, somebody had said that we should do this again for 25 years later, and our chief Kingman Schultz, if he's still here, brought something to put in that one. So those of you that would like to put something in, I think our new president that will be taking over at midnight tonight would enjoy getting those. <laughs> <laughs> and otherwise